Rob was an ordinary guy who lived his ordinary life. He worked in an office, he had a girlfriend, and he loved sports. But one day, everything changed. Rob began to notice that he had severe pains at night. His muscles were tensing and he was having strange hallucinations. One day he woke up and saw that his hands had turned into paws. He got scared and didn't know what to do anymore. Every night the transformation became more and more picturesque. Rob began to feel better during the turn, he felt strength and energy that he had not had before. But in the morning he woke up in horror, unknown hallucinations scared him, and scars from fangs and claws remained on his body. In desperation, he turned to the doctor for help. He conducted a series of studies and informed Rob that he was a werewolf. He had the genes of the ancestral wolves, which came into effect due to stress. Rob took it hard and decided to protect his surroundings. He began practicing daily karate in order to control his strength, and use his achievements, among others, to control his transformations. In addition, he found a group of people who were also werewolves, and each of them was ready to help, finding themselves in a difficult time. After Rob learned to control his transformations, he never harmed his family and friends. His werewolf story eventually became his secret, and he continued to live an ordinary life, only sometimes truly realizing his real state. One day, strange things began to happen in a small town in a forest area. Residents noticed that strange sounds came from the forest during the full moon, and sometimes you could see a large, dark creature running among the trees. It is unknown what caused these werewolves to leave their wolf holes and appear in the civilized world, but the residents of the city began to be unwittingly afraid of these mysterious creatures. A few weeks later, a young woman Natasha, who lived near the river, went out for a walk in the woods in the evening. She loved the coolness of the evening and the sound of leaves on trees. But this time she felt something strange. She saw that someone was following her, she smelled the wolf. It must have been a werewolf. Natasha rushed to escape from the forest, but it seemed that her pursuer would never get tired. She was trapped, behind her was a werewolf, and in front of the forest thickets. But then she noticed a deck of firewood and decided to try to protect herself. She took the axe and began to circle around the deck, ready to hit the werewolf. And then she heard a voice in her head, you won't get out of here alive. Natasha understood that it wasn't really a voice rather, it was the thought of a werewolf. Suddenly she felt very tired, her legs were buckling, her hand dropped the axe. She sank to the ground where the werewolf met her. The next morning she was found by local residents. They found her naked and disfigured. The residents of the city knew that it was a werewolf known as the Moon Man. He became famous for his attacks on people for several years, and now Natasha was another of his victims. The only thing her soul conveyed was that werewolves actually exist. It was a long time ago when people didn't know that werewolves existed. Tales were told of bloodthirsty creatures living in forests and attacking lonely travelers. Some believed in these legends, but most considered them simple tales. One day Nikita appeared in the village. He was a strange man, he was rarely seen in society, spoke little and spent most of the time alone with himself. Someone even guessed that Nikita could be a werewolf, but no one attached much importance to this idea. One evening Nikita disappeared, he was gone for several days. People started looking for him all over the neighborhood, but to no avail. Finally, he was found in an old, abandoned hut on the border of the forest. At first it seemed that everything was fine with Nikita. He was poorly dressed, thin and weakened, but he talked to people quite adequately. 
But when everyone gathered around the campfire to listen to stories about how he stood alone in the forest for several days with nature, Nikita began to behave strangely. He began to twitch and arch, as if experiencing uncontrollable pain. His voice changed, becoming sharper and more muffled. And when the torchlight fell on Nikita, his eyes glittered red, as if they were ready to burst from their orbits. The people were struck with horror, but before they could do anything, Nikita burst out at them with uncontrollable rage. He was fast and stronger than anyone present could have expected. A few minutes later, the hut was filled up, and the people were dead. After that, no one considered werewolves just legends anymore. People realized that such creatures really exist, and no longer took their eyes off those who can hide their true nature. And Nikita became a legend, the story of which was spinning in horror among the population of forest districts.